Hi everybody, my name is Carlos Pinedo. Today we are going to make a um, AT&T Lucent Avaya uh, 355A adapter. These adapters make it easy to program the partner, Marlin, uh, the Marlin uh, Magic System, and uh, even the old legends. Um, they're, they're not in production anymore, but they are very sturdy machines, so you see these phone systems all over the place. Now, programming it through the handset is really difficult, and the adapter is $50, $49. Now, there's a program called WinSPM, which is about $175, but since I don't make it no more, you can actually download version 9, which was the last one they made. Uh, for free you just have to find it but we're gonna save you the fifty dollars and I'm going to show you how um, with less than five bucks we're gonna make this adapter and we're gonna be able to program this adapter now this is a uh, RJ45 to DB9 uh, adapter that you can buy at any uh, network store or even on eBay for under three dollars okay you're gonna notice the RJ45 it's got the tab and the pins normally are this color alright forget what you read online we're gonna make it a nine pin and it's gonna be able to go into the admin and the SMDR port but we want to program it so if you want to test it you bought the right one all right, pin one is the pin on the left. This is standard on all RJ45s. So if you want to test pin one's left, it would be pin one is blue, pin two is orange, pin three is black, pin four is red. If you tug on it and you look inside, you'll notice that it's in order, or you can use a tester, but if those are good, you'll know that it's fine. Pin 5 is green. Pin 6 is yellow. Pin 7 is brown. And the last pin, which is the one all the way to the right, if you're facing it, is white. All right. Now, the DB9, um, if you look closely, you might not be able to tell, but it's got little numbers on it. And it normally goes... One through five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now the back, let me see if I can get it closely there. There they are. They're actually numbered one through five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is how we're gonna create the adapter. Are we ready? Orange is going into pin one. Don't worry what you read. Trust me, it works because I've used it before. Green is going into pin two. Push it so it locks in place. There. Yellow is going into pin three. All right, you're gonna see a three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You'll see it there like I showed you before. Black is going to go into hole four. Push it so it locks in place. All right. Red is going into five. Okay. Beautiful. Pin number five. Brown is going into six. Six is now the bottom left. We're going to push it in place. Number seven, here's a trick. Skip it. There's no cable going in there. All right. Number, uh, where are we on eight? Number eight is the white cable and number nine is the blue cable push it till it locks you want to twist 
you want to push it down and voila you have made yourself a 355 adapter the cable cannot be more than 25 feet put it into the foam system in the admin port it'll even work if you have the right software into the messaging port so you can change the IPs if it's a more modern system it must be a straight cable if you use a network cable it will work too but it cannot be a crossover cable make sure it's not a crossover cable now a lot of computers now no longer have serial ports I got this for ten dollars at a local computer store Best Buy would have it if you still have a Radio Shack around they'll have it too it's a serial to uh, it's a USB to serial converter really easily we're gonna pop it in lock it in place and you've got yourself a programmer and uh, beats $50 and it'll be way easier to install the expansion cards or add a PRI to the old phone system or even change the extension numbers and the dial plan through the software instead of through the keypad and uh, I hope you enjoyed any questions you have uh, just comment down below and I'll try to answer them the best I can thank you for watching